Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duos Time here today, back with another Black Desert video. Today's video, we're gonna be showing you how to pick up your Pen Kaposha belt from your winter season graduation. And yes, before you even ask, this is going to be the exact same footage from yesterday's video. I'm getting paid twice to write the same thing once, aren't I awesome? But in actuality, the reason I'm doing this is because when the season comes towards an end, or in general, people are gonna be searching for this video, and they won't wanna search through a 25 minute long video. So if you did watch yesterday's video, I apologize. No reason to continue watching. I'll see you at the next one. But if you are here looking to pick up the Pen Kaposha belt, or the Pen Kaposha ring, or the Pen Kaposha earring, or the Perilla star, whichever season reward you want to receive for the end of this season, look no further. We'll walk you through the whole like two hour quest line you got to deal with. Anyway, quickly before we get into it, if you're new to the channel, new to Black Desert, or you've been watching the videos on the channel and you still have not subscribed yet, please consider it. Help subscribe my channel. You'll stay up to date when new content like this comes out, and I would greatly appreciate it. And without further ado, let's get into it and let's quickly cover some stuff that isn't covered in the clips you're about to watch from yesterday. So first things first, you do not need to graduate your character, okay? You don't need to graduate your character to complete this quest line. You can continue to play your season character all you want, you just won't be able to equip whatever you get from this little season reward here until you do graduate that character. The only requirement in order to actually do this quest is to be level 20. It's right here in the patch notes. After you transfer your winter season character or with your winter season character level 20 or above. So the quest line that I wanna show you can be done at any point. Also, this quest line is heavily reliant on cooking and in order to complete it, you need to do the cooking on your season character. So you can't transfer over to an alt that you have leveled up for cooking. To power through this, you must do it on a season character, which blows. Because most of these quests take place over in Velia, you're going to want to buy a house over here if you can to set up a little cooking empire. It'll make your life so much easier. But anyway, without any more buildup, let's get into the footage and show you how to do this. In order to do this, open up your Black Spirit by pressing the comma key on the keyboard, navigate to the Quest tab located right here, scroll down the list until you see the quest, Winter Season and Unsettling Rumor. Go ahead and accept that quest. This is going to take you to Fugar, so go ahead and click on him. This will complete the quest. Accept quest again, Winter Season, Fugar in Crisis. This will summon the Black Spirit, go ahead and summon him to complete the next stage of the quest. Click on the quest option once again, Winter Season, a shadow cast over Sunset Hill. This quest is going to send you over to Marco, the Crow Guild merchant thing right here. So go ahead and talk to him to complete that quest. Talk to him again. Winter season, need fresh milk. Pick up that quest. It's going to make you go milk a cow, which means you need to go all the way to Olvia. So get on your horse and ride all the way over to the farm over here, Whale Farm, where you can milk a cow. All right, so when you get here, now you got to milk a cow. So just find a cow that hasn't been taken by someone and play the milk mini game. Anyway, once that's done, you got to head back to that loser over in Velia. So I'll meet you over there. So back over at Sly Cooper, if we go ahead and talk to him, click on the chat option, give him the milk, blah, 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 completes the quest, yay. Click on the quest option here, winter season, tasty treats for kitty. Take that quest over there. So this new quest is a cooking quest, which means you're gonna need a residence. If you have contribution points available to you, you can just buy any house here in Velia and use it as a residence. I unfortunately do not have any contribution points left, which means I gotta go to my house in Heidel, so I'll meet you over here. All right, so to cook this item that we need to cook here, you're gonna need to find a chef NPC located throughout the game. So in Heidel, the NPC is right here. If you are in Velia still, the NPC is David Finto, who's located right here underneath the Velia Inn. He's down under there. Um, anyway, when you get to this NPC, we gotta buy some stuff. First thing we need to buy is going to be a cooking utensil if you don't have one. You're then gonna need to buy mineral water and you will need to buy three of these from this NPC. So get those items into your inventory. If you don't have a house or a residence to do any cooking in, all you do is click the little map icon here, pick any house you want, click on the residence option and buy it for a residence. So once you have a cooking utensil as well as that water from that person, we can head on over to the house to get it set up, but we're not quite gonna be ready to start yet. So if we go into the house, when you get in here, go ahead and hit the place mode button and then click on the utensil in your inventory and drop it on in here. But once again, we're not ready to start cooking yet. We're gonna to need to head over to a central market NPC. And from there, we need to do more purchasing. So we're gonna to need to buy some wheat flour. You can actually buy any flour, but we're gonna go with wheat flour just because it's easier. You need four of these, so go ahead and buy that. And you also need dried fish. So just because it's easy, I'm gonna go with this gold dried golden thread right here. So I'm just gonna buy two of those. So just go ahead and buy that. So go up to your cooking utensil, press the key right there on the keyboard, the R keys interact with it. You need to place six of the pork that the event just gave you two of the gold dried and fish or whatever dried fish you chose right there doesn't really matter your four wheat flour and the three mineral water that we purchased from the chef npc just go ahead and hit the start cooking button and hopefully when this is done you'll have made the good feed you need to complete this quest and boom just like that we've gone ahead and completed it so head on out and head back over to the stupid sly cooper npc all right so back at this guy click on him click on the chat option and give him the good feed that'll complete the quest click on his quest option again winter season it's a secret Talk to him again, that'll complete the quest. 
Winter Season Crow Investigators, click on that one. This is going to path you up to these Crow Investigator NPCs that are hanging out right here, so go ahead and talk to them. Pick up their next one, This Is Your Crime. Then you got to talk to Fugar, who's on the opposite side over here. Pick up the next one, A Sleepless Night in Velia. This will auto-complete. This will then bring up your Black Spirit immediately after, which will complete and give you 30 million silver. After you talk to Fugar one more time, of course. So go ahead and talk to Fugar right after that, you'll get the 30 million silver. He's going to give you another one, Don't Give Up Fugar. You'll then need to speak to Fugar using the chat option, so go ahead and pick one of these options here. And just like any multiple choice test in your life, just pick all of them, eventually you'll complete it, so yeah. This will bring up Winter Season How Much next quest in this quest line, so go ahead and pick that one up. And now we need to go do more cooking, so I'll meet you back at my house in Heidel. So this one's going to require you to find the cook NPC once again, and if you're ever lost, you can use the find NPC function and look for the cooking icon. It'll path you to the NPC you need to find. But anyway, go ahead and talk to them, and we're going to need to buy some stuff. First up, mineral water, you're going to need to hit buy multiple, and we're going to buy 60 of those. Cooking wine, we're going to need to buy 20 of them. Leavening agent, you're going to want to buy 20. Sugar, you're going to want to buy 10. Deep frying oil is going to be another 60 purchase. Salt will be a 10 purchase. And I do believe that is everything we're going to need. So after you've gotten those items, go ahead and head on back over to your residence. Click on your cooking utensil and enter the following recipes in. So first one is going to be five of the barley, two of the leavening agent, one of the sugars, and six of the mineral waters. You can go ahead and hit batch production on that if you want. We're going to be making 10 of these. This is going to produce beer, and it's going to take a bit. After that one's completed, go ahead and go back into this menu right here. We're going to need to put on two cooking wines, six of the deep frying oils, one of the salts, and two of the bird meats. Go ahead and hit batch production once more and click that button, and we'll go ahead and make 10 of these now. And after you completed that, head on back to Fugar back up in Velia. All right, back in Fugar, talk to him. That'll complete the quest. Click on the quest option again. Winter season never before, blah, blah, doo, blah, die. So guess what? Now to do the next quest, we need to have skilled one cooking, which means we need to power level our cooking. So it's going to be pretty obvious to you that the quest gave you not enough materials in order to complete them, which is great. And we're just going to cheat and we're going to spam pickled vegetables the rest of the way. So the pickled vegetables recipe is super simple. It will be linked in the description below. This is the recipe used to power level cooking, one of the best ones possible. It is eight vegetables, four vinegars, two sugars, and two leavening agents. So sugar and leavening agents are both bought from the same NPC we've been buying them from. You can buy the vegetable from the fruit vendor, surprisingly enough. So if you type in fruit into the search bar, it'll bring up the imperial fruit vendor here in Calpheon. So click on that to path to them. You can buy paprika from her and vinegar can be purchased off the central market pretty darn easily. If you don't want to go all the way to Calpheon, you can also buy pumpkin. This is also a vegetable and is usually pretty readily in stock, although slightly more expensive. We are doing 250 crafts of this recipe, which means you'll need 2,000 pumpkins, 1,000 vinegar, 500 leavening agents, and 500 sugars. Head on back over to your cooking utensil and sit here and stare at your computer screen. Engaging gameplay experience. And after you're done with that amazing gameplay experience to get the skilled one cooking, go to a central marketplace vendor and buy whatever grilled bird meat and beer you need to finish off the boxes. So for me, I need 11 more grilled bird meat and 20 more beer. Don't waste any more of your life with this stupid cooking. After you've got the 60 beer total and 90 grilled bird meat in your inventory, press the L key on the keyboard, click on the Imperial Cuisine tab, and click on the grilled bird meat. This is going to turn it into a box. Then do the same exact thing, except this time click on the beer, so the 60 beer in your inventory. And this will turn that one into a box. Get back on the horse, and head back to Fugar. When you get back at Fugar, go ahead and talk to him. This will complete the quest, except the next one for Fugar. And we now need to go and gather some sheep hide. Sheep are located up on Sheep Mountain, so I guess we'll meet you up over on top of Sheep Mountain. When you get up here, make sure to equip the tanning knife that you got from Fugar over here, kill the sheep, and gather their hides. Once you got those, return back to Fugar. When you return to Fugar, go ahead and talk to him. Accept the next quest, treasure times ahead. Blue -de -blue -de -ba -da. Press the L key on the keyboard, navigate to the drawing tab, click on the soft hide in your inventory, and hit the start button. First time it's done, it'll complete. Go ahead and talk to Fugar again. That'll complete this portion of the quest. Then collect Judgment Day. Right click that little pop up on the right side of your screen, it'll bring up your Black Spirit. Click on the quest tab down here, quest tab in the bottom section, and click on Winter Season What is Justice. Secretly follow Fugar. And by secretly, I mean get on your horse and get over to the spot really, really quickly because Fugar doesn't mean and you don't have to be secretive at all. When you get over here, you'll see the Crow Trial location. Go ahead and click on that. Just mash through the R key on all of these. You don't really care about the story, do you? After you're done with that, go ahead and talk to Fugar. Quest, on the blah, blah, scale. I can't even talk anymore, dude. I have work in like seven hours. I'm freaking dead. You're going to get back on your horse and head back over to the place where you met Fugar before over in Velia. So over to the right side of the screen over here. 
When you get to Fugard, it's going to complete the quest line. His laugh returns. This will complete the quest, and that will be it. And congratulations, we have done it, boys. We finally made it. So now, finally, if we go ahead and talk to Fugar, click on the special season gift option right here, you will see the different seasons that there have been. So summer season, autumn season, winter season. If you've not claimed the rewards from a previous season, you can use your exchange coupon that we just got on it now. I would recommend taking the ring if you haven't done either of the two previous seasons. If you have completed them already though, then your only option here is the pen kabocha belt. All you gotta do is click the exchange button at this point, and congratulations. Alas, after two hours of struggling, you will have the pen kabocha belt sitting in your inventory. And that's pretty much going to do it for this video. So I do hope it's going to help you to progress here in Black Desert. Enjoy your free Kapocha accessory, whatever you end up choosing. If it is going to help you, do let me know in the comment section below. Also, please consider subscribing. It helps grow my channel. Pushing for 100k would greatly appreciate it. And you'll stay up to date when new content comes out. Guys, thank you all so much for watching. I will see you at the next live stream over on Twitch, next YouTube video right here, or wherever I happen to see you. Thanks.